find it. You're gonna find tissue that kind of gets balled up a little bit. Let's see if I see anything. You come up like it's on top of here. You almost always find one right there. There it is. Go find that spot right there. See this spot right here? Yeah. That's an active trigger point. Come so, with that. So if he was actually palpating, he'd feel that trigger point as well? Yep, you could feel that trigger point underneath there. So come over just a little bit, right? So I'm gonna put it right in the dead center of my probe, right? So see it's in the dead center of my probe? Hold it nice and firm there. So get, get a little bit of your hand down. Whatever it is you gotta do to get yourself, okay, there you go, get you a chance, right? Then always, 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 when you're doing trigger points, throw color Doppler down on it. We'll give a little clap, we're gonna pray for everybody. Hopefully you never find anything nasty. Things that are nasty in muscle bellies, like sarcomas, look kind of like a trigger point until you turn color Doppler on it. And when you turn color Doppler on it, it lights up like a Christmas tree. It's just got all sorts of this internal, internal stuff. So see how this bows up, right? So this is our trigger point right here. I'm not saying that the, this could be problematic. I'm not saying that, but this is where you find problematic stuff. So before you stick any needle into it, color dock. Nothing, right? Calm. It's exactly what I want to see. Perfect. Power Doppler. Same thing. Calm. Exactly what I want to see. Right? So we're good. So injection wise, we are down one and a half. Okay, what's gonna live underneath here? Pleura, lung, okay? I was gonna say my lung. Lung, <laughs> lung's gonna live down here. So, when I used to work with a doctor, and she said, ah, I just take a one and a half, and I sink it to the hub every time, and I'm there. Mm. Mm. That's three centimeters. What is, what is two and a half centimeters? An oh. inch. That's here, that's an inch. Hub of one and a half. I don't know how she hasn't punctured lungs yet. He or she. I can know that. I can't claim who it is. He or she. Um, but don't get into the idea of a one and a half, just hub it and you're there every time. That's not it, right? So we're off about one and a quarter. So you're going to come off of that probe, right? So remember our 90 45 degree rule? We're going to come off about a one and a quarter, so even closer than that, right there, and come at a 45 degree angle. Because mm -hmm. this is PRP and Wharton's jelly. And so if you bevel down, bevel up. Doesn't matter. Um, because if you're using smaller than a 22, you're lysing cells, right? You can do it with just stem cells. You can do it with exosomes. Mm -hmm. You can do it with all that stuff. But if you're doing PRP, you gotta have, you gotta have the, uh, the larger bore. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Mm -hmm. Keep coming. Keep coming. You're there. Now, sometimes. Sometimes you get a triggering effect where it like immediately releases. Sometimes. One cc? One cc. Okay. See how it's flattened a little bit? But we're injecting right into the center of that trigger point. Perfect. Perfect. And then we're out. One. Ding, ding.